I've had a lot of people ask me how I keep track of my tasks. Uh, I have a lot of them, and I've, I've got a system that I've put together over the years. It seems to work really well. And uh, people often ask me how I, how I use this system, how it works, because it seems kind of complicated from the outside, um, and maybe it is a little bit, but once you get used to it, it's, it's easy. So I just wanted to do a, a really quick demo here and uh, show all of you how I, how I manage my tasks. Uh, I use a program called Airtable, which is not necessarily strictly for task management. It's kind of a configurable, um, uh, easily programmable database that requires no programming skills, which is good because I have zero programming skills. Uh, but it's very versatile, lets you do a lot of things. So um, the problem I had was that uh, I, I had so many tasks, you know, I'd have 30, 40, 50 tasks, and I'd try to keep them prioritized. You know, this one is priority one, that one's priority three, uh, but they were all just in one single list. And it was really hard to differentiate, uh, to, to clarify for myself uh, what, what tasks I should be working on today. Uh, versus what tasks can wait until tomorrow or next week. You know, I, I, I could prioritize them, you know, move them higher up in the list. That was easy. But there was no good way to say this task is critical but not urgent. Um, and, and even, you know, beyond that, further filter and classify tasks. So a uh, quick uh, demo here of, of how I have set up Airtable to meet my task management needs. Uh, whenever something comes across my desk that I need to do, uh, I put it into weekly tasks. <clears throat> so I've got, you know, this weekly tasks. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, no need to go through them all in detail. Uh, but this is where my tasks start. And at the beginning of every day, I look through these tasks and pick out the ones that really do need to get done that day. And I just manually move them over here into my daily tasks. Uh, now you'll see both in the, the daily tasks and the weekly tasks tabs, uh, I've got a few categories here. So I've got priority, high, medium, and low. I don't think I need to get more granular than that. High, medium, and low seems to be plenty for me. And then I've got different uh, categories here where uh, we have kind of a few different efforts. You know, there's pipeline, just kind of the, the core day-to-day -day stuff that we do. I've got some personal things, uh, sales things, and then we've got another one in here, Pipeline Academy. Um, so I could change this one. There's the Academy. So I can <clears throat> classify or, or categorize tasks based on, you know, what like sector of our uh, of business or personal those tasks um, are related to. Uh, and then I have a date uh, when they were added. And one of the great things the date allows me to do is, you know, sometimes I'll put a task in here and I'll think this is really an important task and, and I want to get it done. But for whatever reason, the task just never gets done. You know, maybe it's a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later. And although in the back of my mind, I think, yeah, this is important, something I should do. The fact that it hasn't gotten done automatically tells me that it's not really a critical task. Otherwise, I would have done it. Um, so I have what's called my backlog tasks here. And uh, you know, when I'm going through all the weekly tasks in the morning, I'll look for anything that's uh, two weeks or more older than you know today's date. So like today's the 28th. So anything that's uh, uh, older than the 14th, I would, I would move out of weekly tasks and I would put in my backlog tasks. Uh, and then uh, at a, a recurring frequency, I go through these backlog tasks and uh, just look through them to see if there's anything in here that, yeah, I know I didn't get it done earlier, but I really actually do want to do this and it's, it, I do need to do it. Um, so uh, twice a month, uh, I'll look through this and pull anything out that I need to, you know, uh, insert back into my weekly tasks tab. Um, and then I even go one step beyond that. Uh, if, if there are tasks in the backlog tab that, that are uh, more than a month old, so that would be uh, today's, yeah, August 28th. So anything, you know, July 28th or older, which there's nothing in here right now, uh, I would take those and I would move them into storage. And, uh, and then storage is, you know, it's kind of like backlog, but longer term. And I go through these twice a year. 
And uh, when I go through these, if there's anything I want to move back into weekly, I do so. If not, they get discarded permanently. They're done and, and they never come back on my plate. And so this allows me to kind of organically uh, sort through what, what really is important and urgent and critical and needs to get done. And the other stuff that I want to do, but it just doesn't get done. And so, you know, probably it's just not really that important. It kind of just naturally filters those things out. Um, and then I, I have kind of some instructions in here for, for how this works. You know, uh, first 15 minutes of the day, look through, move things as needed. And then here, here are kind of all the rules. Um, you know, every two weeks, every month, every six months, I review the individual tabs in here. And because I'm an engineer and I go uh, way too detailed on everything, I also have a, uh, like a, a standard operating procedure here, kind of a, a reference document where I wrote all this out and defined exactly how I'm uh, formatting and configuring and, and using Airtable to keep track of everything. Um, and then something I think is really important is uh, for, for um, uh, some of the reviews that I do, this isn't just with Airtable, but it, it's kind of tied in. I have a schedule here and I, I create uh, calendar events for myself. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll have calendar, calendar events that prompt me to do these, uh, these reviews here um, because it's one thing to write out that I'm going to do these reviews, but it's another thing to actually do them and, and having that, that uh, scheduling, that calendar event is uh, a really effective way to do it. Um, uh, we also use what are called SMART goals. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with SMART goals. If you're not, look them up. Plenty of resources online that talk about them. And uh, one way that I've found really effective to actually make sure these SMART goals get done is uh, uh, beyond just writing them down in here and even beyond just you know moving them into my daily task tab, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into my Google Calendar and I will schedule uh, dedicated blocks of time to um, to talk about or not to talk about, but to to work on those tasks. So you know maybe Wednesday from one to four p.m. I'm going to uh, uh, do this task here, smart smart goal number two, um, and and that that ensures that I not only do I have the uh, intention of doing this, but I also have a block of time that has. Uh, explicitly been uh, dedicated to accomplishing that task. Uh, so anyway, that is how that's how I use um, Airtable to uh, create a really um, uh, modular um, system that that allows me to be very specific and strategic in how I accomplish tasks. Um, if anyone is interested in uh, using this same method. Uh, I'd be happy to send you this uh, this barrel man, as I call it, uh, reference guide, and all the instructions are right here, and you can follow along uh, with the same system. That's it. Thanks for watching.